Hey y'all, Trishana here, instructor at Sewing Training Academy. And I am here with my cute little dress. The only thing I have left to do is to finish the neckline and the armholes on it. And I'm gonna use some single fold binding to do that. I'm starting with an armhole and I've already taken the box off the bottom of the machine so I can go in the round on the armhole. And I am using a single fold binding here. And I opened up the side seam just a little bit. Remember this is a dress that I've worked on before and I tore it apart a little bit. So forgive some of my extra stitching here. And I already finished the armholes a different time um, using a lining and I just didn't like it. So I do have, already have some clips in there. So I have to make sure I get in deep enough to avoid those. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this on the edge. I'm gonna go all the way back into that side seam. And I'm just gonna follow the fold that's already in the binding. And I may just have to go just a touch in to avoid those clips and make sure I do not have any holes in my binding. do is try to just keep it consistently just a touch in to help myself out. Yeah, normally when I sew binding on I put it right up there up against the edge but I have it in like a sixteenth of an inch. off necklines and armholes All right guys, because I decided to put it in the side seam, I'm going ahead and closing up that side seam right now before I do the second step of the binding. what you want to do with binding especially in an area that's like a curved area like this like an armhole what you need to do is go around and clip uh, so that the armhole will open up I already have clips in there because I had already made my armhole but I'm just gonna go through where the clips are at the binding points and make sure I go to but not through my stitching if you go through it boom you've got a hole I'm just mimicking that and I'm making sure there is nothing under there that I do not want to cut. Okay. If you are with binding, um, you'll probably want to press it. And I've got it up here on my ham because it is a curve. Just press that back. And if at this point, well, I've got rebels hanging out a little bit, so I might want to trim those down too but I am pressing it and I'm cheating it back a little bit. So I'll just press it all the way around and I cheat it a little bit so that I can see a little bit of the denim on the backside. Um, that way none of this um, binding is gonna show on the front because my binding is matching my trim but I don't want it to show. We are ready to do the last step of our binding. And to do that, I wanna get super duper close to that binding edge. And I am going on the inside of my dress here. And I'm gonna move my needle position over just a little bit. Actually, five, five to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Put my needle down. Let's see where it is. Ooh, looks perfect. 
So it is basically a 16th inch from the edge. I'm gonna get started. I'm going over the seam, so I'm gonna make sure all of that stuff is tucked in. I'm just follow it all the way around. stretch y'all. armhole is bound just the neckline and the other armhole to go and then I can wear my cute dress. <laughs> 